Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time visitor to my channel, welcome. I do hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that button down below. The topic for today's video is actually a new one for my channel. If you are a family member or a close friend of mine, you know that I am a huge foodie and I wanted to incorporate food into my channel in some way that felt realistic and useful to my subscribers. And I feel like I have finally figured out the best way to do that. If you enjoy shopping for good eats or quick options, if you're in a rush, you're really going to want to stay tuned because the topic for today's video is my six favorite items from Trader Joe's. Now, Trader Joe's is one of my go-to grocery stores because I feel like they have so many delicious, quick, healthy options at really excellent price points. So if you have shopped there before, I know you're going to want to stay tuned because all us Trader Joe fans want to keep discovering new and tasty items from there. If you haven't shopped there before, stay tuned because you're going to learn about some really, really yummy, quick, tasty, and affordable options to purchase from that store. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, everyone have their pen and paper ready so they can start making their shopping list for Trader Joe's. Let's jump right in with probably one of the most popular items from there everything but the bagel seasoning and obviously as the name implies this is everything but the bagel whatever you would expect seasoning wise on an everything bagel is located right in this little glass container for your use personally i have used this on my avocado toast it provides a really lovely tasty flavor with the toast and avocado um, also another way that i really enjoy using this is on my everything bagel if you're like me, sometimes you'll think that maybe there aren't enough of these yummy seasonings on the top of the bagel, or if you cut it in half at the bottom, there is none of this because the seasoning is right at that top of the bagel. So what I've been doing is, you know, I'll cut the bagel in half, obviously toast it, put some cream cheese, and then I'll sprinkle some of this onto the cream cheese so that I get even more everything flavor on my bagel. So this is one great option I think everyone should have in their pantry. And at $1.99, it is beyond affordable. Now, another equally popular item from Trader Joe's is their mandarin orange chicken right here. They sell that for $4.99, and this is a really great, quick, easy way to make dinner. I think this can easily serve four people, perhaps more, just depending on what else you might be having for dinner at that time if you're going to have you know more vegetables or perhaps even an appetizer but easily i think four people can be fed with this one little pouch and at 4.99 again excellent price point what goes well with mandarin orange chicken vegetable fried rice this is delicious it retails for two dollars and 29 cents 2.29 for vegetable fried rice and it's really, really tasty. You can actually taste all the different vegetables that are in here. So let's see, there's the edamame, there's pepper, there's corn. You can actually taste all those individual flavors when you're eating the rice. And the nice thing about it, it's not greasy. Fried rice can be greasy, obviously. And I mean, I've had it at places, don't get me wrong, it's good, but it leaves a film on your lips. And while that is yummy, it's not good for our health. With this, you don't get that feeling, at least I didn't. So it's really tasty. It's a really nice compliment to the mandarin orange chicken and it's healthy and at $2.29, excellent, excellent item to have in your freezer for a quick dinner. If and when perhaps you haven't had the chance to make a meal or get something ready between this and the mandarin orange chicken, good to go. Staying in line with the Asian theme, I wanted to share with you their sweet chili sauce. It's 10.1 ounces and retails for $1.49. I mean, as far as condiment goes, you really can't go wrong at that price point. It is great to have in your fridge as an option, just in case you need a little kick and a little sweetness with any kind of meal you're making. Personally, I like to use this when I make grilled chicken. And if I happen to make that chicken very simple with just some salt and pepper, I will put some of this in the plate, dip the chicken into it, and it gives it a nice sweet kick. I will sometimes also use it with the vegetables as well, because like I said, it gives it a nice sweet kick. And if you're like me and sometimes visit your local grocery store and are wanting to pick up the uh, rice paper rolls that are filled with shrimp and vegetables, 
this is usually the sauce that comes with them. And sometimes, you know, the sauce packet might not be enough. So it's nice to kind of have this in your fridge just in case you happen to pick that up as a quick snack or a light dinner. And if you are running low or maybe they forgot to give you the sauce altogether, you're covered because you've got this at home in your fridge. As of late, I have been really liking and craving fish nuggets. I don't know why it's just kind of been something that I have been enjoying and, and wanting a lot. So I've kind of been looking and purchasing various fish nugget options from my local grocery stores and have kind of been left a bit disappointed because they don't taste like fish. You don't get the fish flavor at all. All you taste is breading, you taste fried breading and that's not what I'm trying to buy. I'm trying to buy a fish flavor. So I figured why not check out what Trader Joe's offers and see if it's any good. So that's what I did. I picked this up. This is their fish nuggets and it retails for $4.49. And of course, it turns out to be absolutely delicious. You can actually taste the fish here. And it's not too, too greasy in my opinion at all. Um, but again, the most important thing here is that you can taste fish. I don't know why it's such a problem to find a tasty fish nugget option out there that doesn't just taste of breading, but at least in my search, I've had that problem, but not anymore because I, I gave this delicious option from Trader Joe's a try and it's really yummy. And again, $4.49, can't go wrong. The last item I wanna share with you from Trader Joe's that is one of my favorites is their falafel mix. Now, if you're familiar with this food, it is a very time consuming process to prepare the falafel mix so that you can make this food. So when I saw that Trader Joe's offered this and I had heard through the grapevine that it's actually really good, I figured why not give it a try? It retails for $2.99, $2.99, and it is one pound. It's an excellent deal. So I figured, you know what? What do I have to lose? Give it a shot. Maybe this is a great option to keep at home for those cravings when you want to eat falafel, but you don't want to go through the time consuming process of getting that mix ready. Sure enough, like everything else I've shown you, delicious. I mean, my goodness, it is so tasty. It is so yummy. You wouldn't think it's out of the box. All you need to do is add water to this and you're good to go. You can start making it. It's incredible. I mean, at $2.99, $2.99, all you need to do is add water and you can start making this food versus the amount of time and, and supplies you would need to get everything going fresh. This is excellent, I think. If this is a food that you enjoy, you definitely need to have this in your pantry. It is a life and time saver, that is for sure. So those are the six items that I wanted to share with you today. My favorite Trader Joe's items right now. If you have any other items that you are loving, please do share them in the comments down below. I love to discover and taste new options from Trader Joe's. I am rarely, if ever, disappointed by anything they sell there. So I'm slowly eating my way through their aisles and first see myself making a few more of these videos in the weeks and months to come. So please do share with me whatever options you are enjoying from there because I would like to try them as well. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.